If you love watches, then no doubt you would like a Rolex. Who wouldn't? However, not only are they out of many people's budgets, they are also extremely difficult to purchase new from an authorised dealer. The most coveted models have waiting lists years long, causing many people to turn to grey markets, and because of their scarcity, they often go for thousands more than the RRP. Why is it so hard to buy a Rolex? Simply put, demand has increased steadily for many years, and Rolex has not increased production to match. It's estimated they produce around 1 million watches a year and have done so for years. They're happy with that, don't want to risk a reduction in quality in order to churn out more watches. Well, how much does a Rolex cost in the UK? The cheapest model, the Oyster Perpetual, is just shy of £5,000. Their most expensive models, made of platinum and encrusted with diamonds all over, they can reach over £100,000. So let's take a look at some watches which are a fraction of that. Let's look at some affordable Rolex alternatives. First up, let's consider an alternative to the Submariner. No doubt Rolex's most popular model is the epitome of a diving watch. It's the definition of timeless design as it's barely changed for decades. Well, instead of a £7,700 no-date sub, I have a depth charge, which is under 200 quid. However, that doesn't mean that this is a pile of rubbish. Far from it. It's one of the best value dive watches I have ever seen. Beautiful glossy dial, ceramic bezel insert, sapphire crystal, 200 meter water resistance, and a solid Seiko NH35 automatic movement. A great pick. Instead of the dive watch style, perhaps you prefer something with a bit more prestige. In which case, the £10,700 Rolex Datejust might be just for you. Or rather, this £50 Seconda. It shares the distinctive fluted bezel, providing an array of reflections when the light hits it, as well as a supple and comfortable Jubilee bracelet. The Rolex Cosmograph Daytona is one of the most prestigious models in their catalogue. But if £12,500 is too much for you, then try this Slipstream GT for just over £100. It's a superb reproduction of the Daytona, with the distinctive three bordered subdials at 3, 6 and 9, the knurled pushers and tacky meter bezel. What if you wanted to go for another one of the most recognisable Rolexes? The Explorer. Beautifully subtle and simple, it's a watch that genuinely does everything perfectly. I just know how to design watches so well. Well, instead of paying £6,100, you can go for this Rotary Henley at less than 150 quid. It shares the Explorer's simple case shape with a polished bezel, as well as the straight batten hour markers and the Oyster bracelet. When we compare Rolexes costing thousands and thousands more, we can ask the question, are they that much better than these makes and others? For instance, is Rolex better than Casio? Without a doubt, they are better watches. Every single piece of them is made by Rolex themselves, even down to the tiniest screws. They are the most recognisable and well-respected watch brand in the world for a reason. They're just superb watches. However, if you deconstruct the topic to a watch just being a time-telling device, then some Casios and other watches are better. Others tell the time more accurately. Some are better built, but they don't have the same reputation as that great brand Rolex. Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts on my picks for Rolex alternatives, which watches you'd pick. See you next time. Bye bye.